Yo guys, what is up? It is Crumpet here, and today, guys, I'll be bringing you a free for all map gameplay here on my favorite map, Lockdown. We'll be using the FAD or FAD, as some people may like to call it. And yeah, we're just going to be running around, going 30 and 0 flawless, and like I said, getting my Moab. Um, but that, guys, is not the most important thing I want to talk about today in this commentary. The most important thing is that. Finally, we have got a patch on the on the Wii for Modern Warfare 3, so I'm going to be giving you a short rundown of what they have um, fixed, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys will find this somewhat helpful and give you a short insight onto what they have finally fixed. We've been waiting a long time for this patch now, and um, I'm I'm pretty pleased to be to get it myself. Um, so yeah, I've got the Call of Duty Wii forums up now, so. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So, first off, we've got improved the ability of AI control kill streaks to track and shoot targets. So, finally, guys, they have managed to patch the air support on this game. So, if you guys are getting choppers, um, overwatches, all that stuff, and not getting kills with them, then now you will be able to. So, yeah, hopefully, people using who get these higher kill streaks will actually have more of an advantage now because they will actually kill people. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a good start, I suppose. But it gets better. It gets better later on. It gets better. Um, they fixed several map escapes and exploits, notably in Outpost and Sea Town. Um, so for you glitches out there, well, I'm sorry guys, but you know, <laughs> not going to be able to do it anymore. Um, the third one is they've implemented various weapon balances changes that will affect the shotgun slash grenade launcher attachments for the assault rifles. The FMG9 Akimbos, that's right guys, the FMG9 Akimbos have finally been patched, hallelujah. Um, the shotguns, the Type 95, the ACR, Semtex, um, and silent sniper rifles. So, you guys shouldn't be getting sprayed down by FMG9 Akimbos so easily anymore. So finally guys, our fucking gameplays may not be ruined by some twat running around with FMG9 Akimbos. And we can actually just get on with the game now. Um, another thing they fix is fixed an issue that was causing the pave layer kill streak not to be damaged or destroyed with lock on missiles. Now I've never experienced this one personally because I never actually um, try and attempt to shoot down air support kill streaks, but hey ho. For you guys who are good team players and take down them. Um, the air support, then you know you'll actually be able to shoot down payloads now, so that's that's a good thing, I suppose. Um, they've also fixed an exploit that allows players to purchase items in the press. Yeah, fixed an exploit that allowed players to purchase items in with prestige tokens they are not earned. Now, I've only prestige once, and I'm I'm unaware of this glitch. I only got told about it today, but yeah, that's patched now. Um, but that that's not really a game breaking thing, I suppose, to be honest. But you know, it's good they've patched it. Um, they fixed a bug that allowed players to call multiple Moab strikes for a short period of time. Now I've actually seen my friend do this. I think he got a Moab at 25, and then at 28 he got another Moab. Um, it's quite weird, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I suppose they've, it's it's good that they've patched that as well because that's that is sort of a game breaker if you get what I mean. And um, they fixed a bug that allowed players to assign uh, a weapon. F weapon proficiencies that weapons should not have so basically um, if you guys have heard of the damage glitch it was where you could put damage on um, a gun that shouldn't have damage if you get what I mean which resulted in the gun being a one shot kill um, so yeah it's it's, a, it's good that they've patched that as well uh, I personally have never done this glitch so um, so yeah um, the next thing they've patched is they fixed an issue where players reported that certain air support units could not be shown Shot down, sorry, in a free for all game mode. Um, I I haven't played too much free for all, and I never tried to shoot down the airport anyway. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I I don't really, I've never really experienced this problem as well. Um, they've also fixed excessive cool, excessive cooldown time on sentry guns. Um, another thing they fixed is they've um, fixed objects that can be placed not appearing red. When they are in invalid placement position, immediately as they are pulled out, and um, finally, they have fixed an issue that caused the laptop to get stuck on the screen when the player's assault drone was destroyed immediately after the placement. 
and um, a couple of other things that they've put on the forum is that they've fixed several low frequency crashes and implemented several miscellaneous performance optimizations. So I hope you guys um, sort of got an idea what they've um, patched in this current update. And um, yeah, I hope your gaming experience on Modern Warfare 3 will be a lot more entertaining now rather than stressful as it used to be. So yeah guys, I hope this insight on the update gave, gave you um gave you a good idea on what they have patched so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this gameplay as well it's a pretty good um, gameplay um, Moab um, so until the next video guys um, I'm not sure I've got a sorry I've got a let's play I'm starting which I will upload on Friday or Saturday I'm not sure yet um, but yeah guys just stay tuned for that like this video if you found it helpful it would be very much appreciated and also if you are new to watching my videos please head over to my channel and subscribe and um, yeah guys until the next video peace out and have a good day bye